how to convert a word document to a powerpoint yes that's exactly what you are going to learn how to do in this video there are times that you've already written or typed out a word document but you wish to have it in a powerpoint presentation form how do you easily do it without going to powerpoint to type it out so in this tutorial i'm going to share with you how to automatically generate a powerpoint presentation slide from your word documents that you have typed out hi i'm ehoni obey welcome to our channel if you are new here or you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel also don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified anytime that we release a new video in this video as i've said earlier we are going to learn how to automatically generate a powerpoint presentation from an already written word document so let's get into the pc and i'll show you exactly how to do this okay welcome so this is the pc and as you can see i've opened a word document already so we are going to convert this particular word document here to a powerpoint presentation to be able to do that there are some sort of formatting that you have to do so that the work will appear in the best form when you convert it to the powerpoint presentation so i'm going to walk you through how to do this formatting all the titles that you are going to need as in when you open your powerpoint the titles that you are going to get there are supposed to be given heading one attribute so let's say for instance this abstract is going to be one of the titles when i go to the powerpoint presentation therefore select this abstract and choose heading one up here heading one you can actually format the heading one so let's go to modify and make sure it's in the center change the color okay so we can make it bold we can center it using this then change the color to black okay all right so right now that we've set this we can actually give this format to any other title that we want so introduction will be another title in fact any new page that you are going to create should have a title or a heading one attribute on it so as you can see this abstract is going to be one slide everything under the abstract here is going to be one slide everything under the introduction is also going to be one slide everything under justification is going to be one slide only because i've given them the heading one attribute so for instance the objective over here where i've not given the heading one attribute may not appear as a slide on its own because i've not given it the heading one attribute so if i want it to appear as a slide on its own then i have to give the objective to a heading one attribute so as you can see from here we are going to have one two three four slides in our presentation that is not all we have to format the content itself too so you can see that i've spaced out the work very neatly that's exactly what you have to do for your written word document space them out neatly and also you have to give them a heading attribute so that they would be larger in size so we give this heading two heading two let's format heading two so go to modify then choose the color black all right so this is now heading two and as you already know most powerpoint presentation comes in the form of bullet points so let's choose bulletin for this one all right so we have the bulleted points we'll do same for the rest S select everything choose heading two then choose bullet okay next one heading two and bullet but when you come to the objective it is numbered so we want to have a number or numbering bullets not necessarily the ordinary bullet so we will select everything then choose heading two by this time around we will not select this particular bullet but rather 
we'll choose the numbering one so one two three all right now that we have this set we have to go to how to convert this one to the word document make sure, to the powerpoint rather make sure you saved your work i've saved it i'm done with the formatting so how do we go about it well come up here and see the drop down here so on top there we have the icon for save file we have redo then repeat we have paste here but the last one on the topmost part is customize quick access to bar make sure you locate that very small icon customize quick access to bar click on it and go down to more commands so i went to that icon there click on it more commands then for more commands as you can see here popular commands you want to choose click and choose all commands all commands then after you've chosen all commands after you've chosen all commands now scroll down to send they are in alphabetical order so you want to go to s send send okay all right so we have sent to microsoft powerpoint so this is actually an inbuilt function within microsoft Word itself except that it's not available on the tax bar you have to go and pull it to add it to your tax bar in order to easily use it so once you see the send to microsoft powerpoint just click add here to add it to your tax bar then click ok to accept so as you can see now we have a new icon here at the same top right side where we found a, a small icon which is a customized quick access toolbar so on the toolbar now we have sent to microsoft powerpoint so once you're ready to convert your word documents to powerpoint you just click on the send to microsoft powerpoint button and this will convert your document to powerpoint okay so as i said earlier this is the four pages that we have this abstract with the presentation format as we showed over there this introduction justification objective you can enable editing and do any kind of editing you want to usually do in your powerpoint presentation so that is how to convert your word document to powerpoint automatically within the microsoft word itself so in summary to convert a word document to powerpoint you need to you need to open your word document and format it the way you want it to appear in the powerpoint presentation afterwards go to your quick access toolbar then click on it choose all programs then select send to microsoft powerpoint add that one to your tax your toolbar then you now have the option to just click and convert directly to powerpoint thank you for watching to the end of the video i hope you have learned something new today and also if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the subscribe icon to subscribe to the channel to support us in everything that we do and for more tutorials like this don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will always be notified anytime we release a new video thank you and see you in the next video bye